It's a battle of the sexy underwear lines. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're pitting two lingerie brands against each other, Savage X Fenty and Victoria's Secret. Round 1. History Before we delve into the details of these two brands, let's first explore both of their histories. In 2017, Rihanna launched Fenty Beauty to great success, and the cosmetics brand was even deemed by Time magazine to be one of the best inventions of the year. See that? So it came as no surprise when Rihanna announced that she would be expanding her Fenty empire to include apparel, with a line called Savage X Fenty being launched the following year. In September of 2018, she held a show during New York Fashion Week and offered a repeat performance in September of 2019 with a massive show featuring star-studded performances. It was later released to Amazon Prime Video. Along with that release, Savage X Fenty is also available for purchase on Amazon, making the brand much more readily accessible. I have had an incredible evening. I've had the most incredible supporters, the best models, the most empowering dancers, the best choreography, the greatest fashion when it comes to lingerie, and it all happened here tonight, and I can't believe that it's happening. Victoria's Secret, on the other hand, has been around since the 70s, being founded in 1977 in California. See, Victoria's Secret entered the market in the 1980s, right when women raised with many revolutionary ideas were entering the workforce. The sexual revolution encouraged them to embrace their own sexiness. The workplace revolution meant that millions more of them had disposable income, and they didn't spend that disposable income on weddings or babies because they increasingly delayed those choices. So they spent it on bras. Founders Roy and Gay Raymond launched the brand in an effort to get away from the popular undergarments of the time that they deemed, quote, ugly floral print nylon nightgowns. The result was a brand that completely changed the industry and the market, bringing sexier undergarments to the mainstream. The Victoria's Secret catalog became a cultural mainstay, and one could argue that the company has fundamentally changed the way we view underwear. Because of the fact that they're more established, Victoria's Secret also has much wider availability, at least for now, and their price point is slightly lower than Savage X Fenty. Because the story of Savage X Fenty is so much newer and Victoria's Secret has decades of history behind it, we're giving this point to VS. But trust us, we are really eager to see what Rihanna does with a few more years behind her. Winner, Victoria's Secret. Round 2. Fashion Shows Now that we've learned about the history, let's talk about the brand's fashion shows. Savage X Fenty debuted in 2018, and while the shows have been huge hits, only time will tell how successful they will continue to be. And its ultimate aim will have become joined together. This is the achievement of the idea of desire. As an up-and-coming brand, though, Rihanna has used her star power to turn these shows into events that are not to be missed. The 2019 show had the likes of DJ Khaled, Halsey, Migos, Fat Joe, Fabulous, Big Sean, ASAP Ferg, and Tierra Wack performing, and will inevitably be widely viewed online. Of course, Victoria's Secret has become known for their annual fashion show, which started in 1995 and has been televised since the early aughts. One day, I'll do the show. And I'm so excited. It seems like the show has only gotten bigger and bigger with each passing year, and people have begun to look forward to seeing the famous top models strutting their stuff in upcoming wares and, of course, the famed fantasy bra. Having major musical acts has become de rigueur for the shows, with artists like Taylor Swift, Ariana Grande, Ed Sheeran, Selena Gomez, Bruno Mars, and Rihanna herself performing. Savage X Fenty shows have become major anticipated events, since there have only been a couple so far, we have to give this win to Victoria's Secret because of the long history of successful shows they have. Winner, Victoria's Secret. Round 3. Inclusivity And the one word that they said to me that represented Fenty was inclusion. How important was that for you to make sure that message has been said? From the moment that the Fenty Beauty line was announced, it was clear that Rihanna was prioritizing diversity when it came to her marketing campaigns, as well as the products she was producing. She was lauded for her first foundation having an initial color palette of 40 shades, which catered to many different skin tones. Her lingerie line is no different, with models of all shapes and sizes represented on the runway and in their ads. The 2018 show even had pregnant models walk the catwalk. No matter 
what their personality is, what their race is, their religion is. I want women to feel confident and sexy because that's who we are and we deserve to feel like that. Over the years, Victoria's Secret has expanded their inclusivity when it comes to the appearance of their models, but they were still working within strict parameters. It's the only thing like it in the world. It was major news when Victoria's Secret announced that in 2019, they would not be holding their famed fashion show. And of course, people began speculating as to why it was cancelled. While their official statement mentioned wanting to adapt the brand and move away from traditional television, there were many who linked the decision to earlier comments made by Ed Razik, chief marketing officer of L Brands, which is the umbrella company for VS. Razik said, in part, we market to who we sell to and we don't market to the whole world. We attempted to do a television special for plus sizes in 2000. No one had any interest in it. Still don't. The backlash to such comments were immediate with many notable LGBTQ figures, including trans models and plus size stars, taking to social media to share their disappointment in Victoria's Secret. He told Vogue that the Victoria's Secret fashion show would not include transgender or plus sized models. And of course, people were not pleased with these statements to say the least. Fenty is without a doubt the winner here, as consumers are increasingly conscious of diversity in the brands they purchase from. Victoria's Secret will have to make some big changes if they want to catch up to the trends in the industry. Next time, we're gonna have it down pat. Winner, Savage X Fenty. Round four, female leadership and empowerment. If you've seen Rihanna do, well, basically anything, it's easy to see that she's all about female empowerment. As the female founder of a lingerie brand, she clearly has women's interests at heart. Speaking to Vogue, she said, quote, Lingerie is not about exploiting the female body, it's about celebrating it, and that's what Savage X is all about. The vibe that Savage X Fenty gives off is one that encourages individuality, celebrates diversity, and inspires confidence in women. I feel incredible, I feel empowered. I feel like I empowered a lot of women tonight and I feel like that's what Savage X is about. Victoria's Secret, on the other hand, was conceived by a man who felt uncomfortable shopping for women's underwear in department stores. He wanted to create a space that men were more welcome in. And it has been quite obvious over the years that Victoria's Secret has been in the business of catering to male fantasies rather than offering women what they actually want or need. Since its founding, VS has been largely run by men, which has inevitably colored the brand's identity. Not only that, but the company has many ties to the late Jeffrey Epstein, who was accused of sex trafficking and being a sex offender, especially of minors, and who was known to make promises to young models that he could get them hired by Victoria's Secret. There is no debate on this one. Fenty easily gets the point for this round. Winner, Savage X Fenty. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Round five, growth trajectory. When speaking to Vogue about her new lingerie line, megastar Rihanna described herself as not built like a Victoria's Secret girl. When Savage X Fenty launched, their digital campaign was a finalist among brands and organizations for a Shorty Award, which honors excellence on social media. With their line to be sold on Amazon as of 2019, we have a feeling we've only seen the beginning of where this company can go. Because with that sort of widespread availability, there is nothing stopping them from becoming huge. It's going to keep shaking the, the picture and changing the picture. Like all these black brands are becoming staples and a lot of the other bigger houses are kind of mooching off them. And it's sad that we're not taken seriously in a place where we make the ideas. The way it's turning, things are going to get there. The line is clearly striking a chord with women with both buyers and critics praising the company for many different branding decisions. Victoria's Secret, on the other hand, is by all accounts on the decline. Being accused at the moment of, of not fitting into the Me Too era and not adapting um, to change. Critics say that like the runway show is outdated and that it, the images in stores are inappropriate, while other brands like American Eagle's Airy um, are kind of launching more body positive campaigns. Their stock fell by a massive 40% in one year at the end of the 2010s, and they've announced store closures as well as the cancellation of the fashion show. 
If things are going to turn around for VS, they've got to get with the times and make some major changes. Catering to the women of today rather than the women of the 70s and 80s when the brand made a name for itself. Victoria's Secret doesn't seem to be trying to change its products or messaging to keep up with shifting consumer priorities, at least not as fast or successfully as its competition. Their product assortment is lacking in terms of uh, understanding what their target audience wants. You know, as, as a retailer, you have to be nimble. Victoria's Secret is still trying to appeal to the men of the Mad Men era, and that's over. VS may have tons of history and a massive scope, as well as plenty of name recognition, but the way things are going, it doesn't look good for this lingerie giant. We have a feeling Fenty is the next big thing, so they're getting this point. Winner, Savage X Fenty. But, I mean, let's just talk about having nudes that match your body. Like, nude was only one color. Now, everyone's, they've realized with Rihanna getting into inclusivity that you need to cater to everybody. You have to have a nude for everyone. Well, it looks like Fenty takes this one with a victory of three to two. Which brand do you think you'll be buying next? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.